Hi guys, in this video I compare the uh, pure water that I've got from Ultra Pure Laboratories uh, with the distilled water from my dehumidifier. I'm very pleased to report that there's a, a big difference in the uh, two types of water. Um, this is uh, purified water and um, it's actually listed as ultra pure water when I look at the company's website. I've asked them for details of the electrical resistivity or conductivity of this because it's, uh, it's not actually listed. Um, but um, I went to my local chemist or pharmacist or I guess you guys, or a lot of you guys would call it the drugstore and uh, he got this for me and this is uh, two pound for two liters and i can get five liters for three pound um, from the same uh, source apparently so my chemist can can order this for me so um i had got it in my mind that distilled water deionized water and demineralized water all equated to the same things because um, I, I once knew an electrochemist and uh, he was telling me that uh, all of those things are exactly the same thing and of course I find out that is not true um, they are in fact different things and obviously the guy didn't know what he was talking about or maybe he thought my level of understanding was um, uh, you know that was enough to call it uh, demineralized deionized um, uh, to call them all the same thing but um, anyway this is as pure as I can get locally um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, clean out the cell there and uh, fill it with this stuff and carry out the same trial as I carried out in the previous video because if the uh, the resistivity of this is um, uh, higher or the conductivity uh, um, is uh, is lower uh, with this then that could answer um, the, the problems that I've been having in which case I would retract my comments about nobody getting a cell to run <laughs> at resonance because I um, say that was the problem I was having thank you very much to uh, the people that have come back with uh, comments and feedback in some cases you're simply reminding me of things that uh, i i have known in the past and uh, have now forgotten and uh, and sometimes of course it's brand new information which is extremely useful so i really do appreciate the feedback and really the reason for making this video is uh, in the hope that it uh, it just prompts somebody else to to come and give me another snippet a bit of uh, a little bit of information uh, that will help to move me forward and I uh, say I really do appreciate the the input guys because um, uh, there's um, say some uh, uh, just the odd comment that you know uh, people have made have, uh, have just prompted me so uh, thanks for that guys right I'll get on with this experiment so what I'll do first is uh, strip the cell down dry it off particularly the, uh, the nylon nuts and bolts uh, fit this um, well, the nylon nuts and bolts and washers fit that little two turn uh, in doctor which I had in the last test and um, then uh, measure the, um, the cell with the VNA um, from its dry condition and then into the original water and then I'll, I'll swill it all out with purified water, I'll clean it up and I'll do it again. I find if, I, if you don't make um, a direct comparison on the same day it's so easy to get little errors creeping you find that something's not the same maybe the inductor moves or something so I think it's it's important it's a real pain because it means stripping this down uh, at least twice to clean it and dry it because I'll strip it down now 
do the, the trial with the dehumidified water and then uh, strip it down and clean it and dry it again uh, rinse it and dry it with um, uh, the, the purified water and uh, I'm hoping for big things but I haven't done it yet so you're going to see it um, uh, exactly as I see it because uh, I like to video these things uh, once and once only because it, uh, it just takes too long to keep on having to go over it. I've got the uh, components dried off now and uh, there's one difference I'll show you. What I've done is I've marked the one plate positive and uh, the other plate I've marked negative and that's to ensure that when I couple it up again um, that I always connect the same plate to the same polarity and I think that could be important because um, uh, as um, rubbish is possibly leached out of uh, these plates it could make one plate better or worse than the other and if I do change things around I want to make sure that I, I get them back exactly the same. It's very important to compare apples with apples I think if I start to uh, getting it wrong and mixing things up it all clouds the issue as to uh, what's reality or, uh, or not. Okay I've got the cell uh, dried off and cleaned up and uh, it's connected to the mini VNA as it was before and um, I've uh, got this uh, two turn coil so that's a little half inch or 12.5 millimeter two turn coil so at the risk of boring you I'll go through this again I've set the um, frequency range from uh, 1 megahertz to 90 90 so that's 1 megahertz here increasing to 90 megahertz across there and um, I shall be looking at the uh, effectively the SWR and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, um, a 3 dB uh, offset on there and that just brings everything there then I'm going to switch off this loss there okay so that's the uh, SWR I'm going to go here and select the uh, a line which shows the minimum SWR and that sort of printed on the screen and that's showing uh, um, that the this dip is around 45 and a half megahertz and uh, so that's more or less what we saw last time but this is just to, to validate the the setup so now what I'm going to do is uh, I've got the uh, the cell and I'm going to uh, dip that into the water remember this is the dehumidifier water and we're watching that dip move and that's that's doing uh, exactly the same as it did before and as I lower it right in you see we wind up with uh, a very little dip now in actual fact that looks like a bit of an improvement what I have done and I didn't say I've scrubbed this plate because uh, I thought I'd have it clean for both the demineralized and the regular water. So um, that is exactly the same water in the cell, literally the same. And I haven't taken any out, I've topped it up a little bit. But that dip is deeper than I remember it being the last time I showed you. Uh, so that in itself is interesting. One of the things when you're working at RF, at radio frequency, very subtle changes can make big differences. Um, but anyway, that's uh, where we are. Um, I'm going to just switch this on here. We'll look at that. We'll put it on the screen. And that's brought that down now to uh, around 5 megahertz. Okay, so that just validates the system, but it's the depth of that dip at the moment. It's saying it's uh, about 3.5, which is not a calibrated thing, but it's it's uh, indicative. Okay, next I'll uh, strip the cell down again, clean it out. I'll wash it off with um, purified water, 
and repeat this test exactly the same. So I've got the uh, the cell cleaned up, dried, washed, and, and dried. I've washed it with um, uh, purified water, and I've got the uh, the coil on again, and um, we'll just verify the frequency. It's 45 megahertz, which is uh, about where we were before. I've now filled uh, this with the uh, purified water and um, you're going to see the same as me what happens the first time we put it in there you say I haven't um, uh, I haven't done this before so I don't know uh, what I'm going to get but um, I'll just lift the cell over and say it's exactly as it was before and uh, Right, we'll pop it into there. I hope you're getting that on the screen. Okay, well, it's pulling the frequency over. The dip is staying nice. That's that's going nice. That's looking very good. That's looking particularly good. Hey, look at that. I might have put too much water in. Look at that. Um, wow, isn't that a difference? Well, I take back my words that I used in the last video where I said I don't think anybody's running their tank at resonance, including Stan Mears. And I eat my words, uh, ladies and gentlemen, because look at that that is such a huge difference what I'll do is I'll edit a bit of video that shows you the before and after um, wow uh, that has got to be very very interesting um, okay well I had some misinformation to start with regarding the qualities of um, demineralized and deionized and all of these other D words um, and it was uh, complete rubbish oh I just noticed I've actually got the the coil is under the water there as well I don't think that has any re relevance so I'm going to lift that out um, uh, the insulation on that bit of wire is good for thousands of volts uh, but there's a capacitive effect now I've lifted that out and hopefully you can see I've still got that I'm going to lift the, the cell out of the water I know that the water does get trapped on the the washers so look at that, that's the, I'm trying to shake the water off, um, that's the cell largely out of the water, so there will be some residual shift in frequency because of uh, the dampness of it, but look as it actually goes in the water, I don't know if I'm catching that. Well. Thank you for uh, the guidance, gentlemen, um, because um, uh, Outlaw, I think it's Outlaw STC, uh, made a comment which uh, led me to uh, uh, speed up uh, doing this test. I did not anticipate uh, such a dramatic difference between the uh, uh, ultra purified water and that water out of my dehumidifier right that's um, that's back to the drawing board and looking at uh, building a cell that I can uh, resonate okay well I hope you found that interesting uh, I found that very interesting um, thanks for watching guys bye bye